Force fits, or shrink fits as they are also known, are a special type of interference fit. These fits were designed to maintain a constant bore pressure throughout the range of sizes within the chart. Essentially, the amount of interference is proportional to the diameter, with the difference between the upper and lower limits being small. This helps to maintain the resulting pressures from the fit to reasonably small amounts. These types of fits are common for shafts and bearings and components which need to be watertight. Parts with larger force fits, once assembled, typically cannot be disassembled without destroying the part. This is due to the fact that the parts are often assembled by heating up one and inserting the other, or by cooling one in liquid nitrogen. Once the parts return to room temperature, it is very difficult to take them apart without destroying them. Force, or FN1 fits, have five classes of fits. The FN1 fits are known as light drive fits and are used when light assembly pressure is desired. Thin walled sections or long engagement assemblies or high grade cast iron external members are best suited for this fit. FN2 fits are known as medium drive fits and are suited for ordinary steel parts and for shrink fits on small components. These are the tightest fit which should be used with high grade cast iron parts. FN3 heavy drive fits are suited for heavier steel parts or shrink fits in medium sections. FN4 and 5 fits, known as force fits, are designed for parts which can endure high stresses or shrink fits where the large pressing forces to assemble are impractical. To use the FN fit chart to determine the proper fit for the shaft inside of the bearing, which has an inch and a quarter internal diameter, I must find the proper size range which can be found at the bottom of the column. The next step is to consider the function of the mating parts. This jig is spun by hand while the part being held is ground on a surface grinder. Now that I understand the function, I can determine the proper fit. The bearing and the shaft are both steel components. A FN4 or 5 force fit or a FN3 heavy drive fit would not be required. Therefore, a FM1 or 2 fit would be the best choice. Since these are both ordinary steel parts, I will use the FN2 fit, which means the hole or internal diameter of the bearing will be 1.25 to 1.251, and the shaft's outside diameter will be 1.2518 to 1.2524 inches. The limits of interference are negative values because this is an interference fit. The minimum interference is 0.0008, and the maximum interference is 0.0024 inches.